Hello everybody and welcome back to the Creswell Wanderers Women's YouTube channel. I do just want to say that the UK has gone back into lockdown unfortunately, which means that football is going to be cancelled for the foreseeable future. This does mean that it's our last game before what might be a bit of a blessing in disguise. You know, we have had a few injuries um, for a lot of players over the last few weeks. So hopefully we can get recovered and then when we do get underway, we'll be back stronger than ever. We are away to Rush Hall Olympic. Now, we are quite familiar with this ground as a few of the girls on the squad did play here last season for a different team. So we're kind of familiar with the pitch and, and the setup. Um, so it's not too overwhelming um, on this away game and it is a really good pitch as well, may I add. So we are away to Rush All Olympic. Um, we don't know much about this team. They are a new team as far as I'm aware. Um, I think the girls know a few of their players, but hopefully we can just carry on the momentum that we've seen over the last few games. Um, we had a tough fixture last week against Walsall Wood, so it'll be nice to pick up another three points and keep the pressure on the top of the table for the chasing pack. They'll be looking up to us this season, hoping that they can catch us. So we've got to make sure that we keep our momentum, stay strong and get the results that we much need. I will get up into the team lineup in just a moment. But as usual, I just need to give out a massive shout, uh, shout out, a massive thank you to this season's sponsors. Their links will be in the description. So if you can please follow their social media pages and help them out as they have helped us out this season with individual and match day sponsors and kitwear, etc, etc. Onto the team lineup, we've got Nat in goal. We have no Jess today, so Rachel steps in there. Shelly T and Katie Reaver side of her with Beth and Hot Dogs on the wing. We've got new sign in Tina in the middle alongside Danny. In front of her, we've got Tash and Sophie and Kelly on her own up front in what we're calling a 3 2 2 2 1 formation. Um, on the bench today, we've got Little M, who's still trying to come back from injury. We've got Liv, Maddie, Savage and myself. And Big Tone is back this week, so we've got him giving us orders from the sideline. And we've got Charlotte, Jason, Charlie B there as well. So the whole crew is back and ready for this game. Let's see how we get on. Another three points would be grand and a good performance to see us out until football returns back in the UK. Thank you for all your support on the latest videos and on the channel. It's much appreciated and hopefully we'll be making content like this again for you sooner rather than later. Kelly gets the game underway. Now, something that Tony has tried to dr drill into us, sorry, drill into us um, since the start of the season is playing nice, neat football on the floor. And we do exactly that getting into this game, which kind of set the tempo for probably the first 20 minutes. And then Russell probably got back into it a little bit. But you can see we're just moving it around nicely. We're not rushing into anything. We're playing nice one twos. It is put out onto the right wing where, well, not wing, but Rachel is there. And unfortunately, she can't play that down to Roxy and it does go out for a throw in. Rush Hall have a free kick and they're looking to loop that into the box but Tina gets a good head on that safely into the hands of Nat. She's going to look to release this quickly. She, f I mean, you know she's got a good kick anyway. She finds Kelly Free in the middle of the park who gets it down and looks up. She plays a good ball to Soph but unfortunately touch isn't great and we almost lose possession but it's picked back up by Kelly. This time Soph makes a good run down the right hand side and Kelly slips that through to her but the following shot is tame and saved by the keeper. Uh, we've got a throw in on the far side now. I can't see who that's fired down to, but I can only assume it's Beth. It ends up with Tash, who's got a bit of pressure on her now, which applies a lovely ball over the top to Sophie, who hits it first time. And it's all <laughs> not the most conventional save from the keeper, but she does enough to twist on that and get that out. So it does go over for a corner. A little bit later on in the game now, we've got Kelly looking to take a corner from the left-hand side. Um, she's going to look to swing this in and hopefully someone will be there to get the head on it. It's a really good ball into the box and we, it does apparently come off Tash. Um, I was adamant it was actually best goal but it does come off Tash. She puts us one up from what is a really good finish from a really good corner. That's just what we needed to capitalise on a good start. Um, Beth loops the ball up into the air there. It's all a little bit scrappy. It ends up coming out to Rachel. Barely had a chance to catch my breath and look at this for a finish from Tash. It's almost like a salmon, you know, getting ready to jump out of a river. She somehow twists, she gets ahead on it and fires that into the back of the net to put us 2-0 up. Brilliant, Rush Ola got a throw in on this near side. It's played into the, uh, I don't know what number she is. Uh, Tina's quick onto her anyway and we win the ball back. It's with Kel now, it's laid inside to Tash who lovely dink over the top. Kelly gets on the end of that one. She Again, she plays it through to Sophie and... Uh, Unfortunately, everything ends up a little bit scrappy and Beth can't finish there. 
I've got a goal kick. Um, she's going to look to hit this as far down. I don't believe she's their actual keeper. I believe she's standing in today. Um, it's fired into the middle. Uh, we're going to look to put a bit of pressure on her and Tina wins the ball there. She does She does end up like kind of falling over there, but she plays a really good ball out to Sophie's going to look to whip this across. She does that and it's it hits the back post. I don't know how. And Tasha's there to finish. Kelly jumps over it to make sure she doesn't get in the way of the shot. And just like that, we're three 0 up inside of what twenty one minutes. It's a really good start, and we've capitalised on the early pressure. We're gonna look to kick off. Uh, well, rush all last, sorry. Um, they've laid it back. Their player is forced to go backwards. It goes all the way to the keeper. Kelly does well to force her into a mistake there. We're going to look to get on this. Um, it's all a little bit scrappy here. So Shelly T covers as Lou can't quite get on the ball. Uh, sorry, it's Tina, not Shell. It's looped over the top. Um, Kelly kind of pokes that through. Their player goes down and Sophie's free at the back post. But unfortunately, she fires over and it's a really good chance to go 4-0 up pretty much straight from kickoff. Just a warning here, number 17 does pick up what sounded like a nasty injury. I hope that she's recovered and it's okay. Um, they've got the ball down their left-hand side. Rachel puts a little bit of pressure on and forces her to go backwards. 17 is going to look to cross this in, but she kind of hyper-extends on her knee there. And you can tell she's not comfortable from the moment she lands on that leg. Um, unfortunately, that will be the end of the game for her. I hope it's nothing too serious and that she does recover, but watching it back in slow motion, something definitely happens in her knee, which doesn't look healthy. They've got another free kick. Again, it's going to be launched towards the middle of the box, but Kate does well to get ahead on that, and it ends up safely with Nat. Nat launches that towards the left-hand side of the pitch. Um, we have got the ball in possession. I think it's with Beth, and she turns and she lays it back to again i'm going to assume that's tash based on the ball that's across and roxy puts a really good cross in here but unfortunately nobody can get on the end of that one and we do go close again the keeper has it in her possession now and um, she's launched that into the air now again it's really difficult to see who is who here so bear with me rachel does well to win her headers under pressure it's collected by danny in the middle she puts it out to the left-hand side. I'm assuming that's Roxy there, but Tash ends up picking up the ball and playing it out onto the wing. It's fired over the top, and Kelly's going to look to pressure their defender, and she does get onto the ball, but unfortunately she hits Rose Ed with that one. We've taken the throwing on our right-hand side. It's put into Tina, but she loses possession and it's hoofed over the top. Kate can't get on the end. Of, oh, sorry, Shelley T can't get on the end of that one. Um, so, like I said, it's really difficult to see who's who. The ball is fired across, but thankfully they can't get on the end of that, so we come out unscathed. But it is close for Rushall, and they did start putting a lot of pressure on us towards the end of this half. We've got it over the right-hand side now, and thankfully that will see us through. So we do go in to the break. It's 3-0. It's been a good performance, but the game is definitely starting to get a little bit scrappy so we need to calm it down ourselves from the kickoff they've looked to play it down their right hand side where Shelly T is she does well to get in the way of that and she plays it to Lou unfortunately Lou can't get a foot on that and possession is back with Shell it's played on the inside and back to Lou um, she leaves the ball behind and can't quite get back to it and Liv misses out on her tackle there it's kind of hit half-heartedly and somehow it's lofted over I'd like to see their striker do this again because I'm adding this. It's a really difficult finish. Fair play to her. She's hit it first time. It's looped over. It's come off the back post and ended up in the back of the net. We definitely need to switch on here. Their keeper has taken a long kick. I'm assuming it was from an offside or something like that. Um, it's over the far side and Savage has come on the pitch. Avisa have I, but unfortunately Savage goes off injured because her foot is playing her up, which is really unfortunate, but we do have to get the game underway. It's fired in from the right-hand side. Um, it doesn't quite reach anybody and Rush will get on the ball and look to see that out, but it is kind of intercepted again played out to Rachel on that right hand side pardon me it's looped over the top and Kelly does so so well to get on the end of that and she smashes that back towards the left hand post it is 4-1 now thankfully we've got a bit more of a comfortable lead under our belts and we carry on we're looking to get a few more goals 
Kate does well to get on the end of there. He looked like it almost went through to their player and it comes out to me. I take it on the inside and I'm trying to actually put this down the wing and my pass still kind of works. It ends up with Tina, I believe it is. No, Sophie, sorry. Um, Sophie's got the ball down the right hand side now and she's looking to cut that back across but I almost get on the end of it. Unfortunately, I don't and Tashne takes my head off with the following volley. It's another chance. The ball is with Nat now. Again, another deadly kick. She gets that past the halfway line and it's flicked on. Kelly is miles on side here. All she's got to do is take it around the keeper and hit the back of the net. She hits it on her left foot, but unfortunately that goes wide at the near post. It's another big chance missed. Their keeper's got the ball now. It's in possession with her. It's caught by Rachel in the middle. She's got a little bit of time. She picks out Liv. Tash misses that, but I get on the end of it. Again, I spot the run of Kelly and Sophie and I fire it over to them. And unfortunately, Kelly can't do much with the chance there and it's time for the keeper. We've got a throw in on the far side now. Um, Tash gets on the end of that. I think, is it number 22 that ends up going down? I'm not quite sure if it's just a bit of cramp. Um, you can see she's struggling, but we maintain possession and we carry on. It's all a little bit all over the place over that far side, but we do come away with the ball and the chance goes wide. Like I said, their player stayed down. Um, I think it was just cramped for her, so hopefully she's recovered as well. Again, it's another big kick from now. I mean, it's even further this time. It goes over the top of everyone, and Kelly's there. Need a new ball. So they've taken a goal kick here. It's picked up on their left hand side and it's hoofed over the top. Sorry, I keep getting hiccups. It's not good when you need to commentate. Kate fires that through to Sophie and it's a lovely ball through to Cal. He reckons that Kelly's definitely offside, but if you watch it back, she's absolutely not offside. She's bang on level or another chance goes a begging. It's picked up in the middle um, by a rush all play, but we do well to pressure her. Um, she can't really get a good pass away. It's back with them in the middle. It's put out towards the right hand side, but Kate does well to step in there and she is a little bit lackadaisical with that pass. It's picked up again. Thankfully, there's enough pressure on her and Rachel gets the ball back. It's fired down this left hand side where you can see Sophie is racing towards the keeper. Um, it kind of flicks up. I think he gives a handball against Sophie there, which I think is incredibly harsh. I don't know what she knew about it, but uh, we miss out again. Uh, the ball is fired over the top. Rush all are looking to get a shot underway here, and it is fired hard and low, and Nat does so, so well to see that out, but unfortunately Nat gets injured and has to come off, so Danny goes in goal for her. Um, this is where the most serious injury of the game happens, so if you are squeamish, we haven't slowed it down, we've just let things carry on, but unfortunately um, Sophie falls awkwardly on a knee here, um, she has done some damage to her MCL and her ACL, we're still awaiting to hear back the extent of that damage, um, but unfortunately that was the end of the game for her. It took a long time, um, she had to be stretched off and taken to hospital immediately after the game had finished. Um, so it's a big blow, she's only just come back from injury. Uh, the game does finish at 4-1, like I said, the ref had, had realised there had already been 92 minutes played on because of the stoppages for Sophie um, and that coming off as well. We do have one more chance, but Beth can't finish that. And we see the game out, 4-1. Um, I hope any player in this video um, who was injured obviously has a speedy recovery i'm wishing them all well especially sophie um nat has got a really bad shoulder injury that needs looking at as well so uh, we were hoping um that this time would be for resting players but we have picked up some pretty serious injuries um, best of luck to sophie and her recovery and hopefully we'll see her back on the pitch soon for now this is goodbye um until the end of lockdown we'll try and keep you updated with some videos uh, thanks guys peace out Hello.